What's up everyone, Sean here, and today on the Hawk Talks, I am going to talk about my personal highlights of uh, the April 1st Nintendo Direct, and first off, we are pretty lucky that we didn't get actual April Fool's jokes from any of the announcements that they've uh, put out uh, in this Direct, and uh, there is some really good stuff, and we really want to talk about it. So, uh, first off, right off the bat, I uh, wanted to talk about Mewtwo and Lucas. Uh, Mewt- uh, I'm really glad that Mewtwo is um, going to be in the game, and uh, for those who registered uh, both 3DS and the uh, Wii U version, will not only get the soundtrack, but get a uh, download code for uh, Mewtwo, you know, as a free DLC character. And this is both uh, for both versions, so you get two download codes via the email from Nintendo. And you know, again, this is really cool. And pretty much um, from what I've seen, he seems to be intact from his melee incarnation. I mean, there are some minor differences from what I've, what I've noticed. He might not be as floaty, uh, but I could be wrong. But again, really cool to see Mewtwo back in the game. And also, Lucas, out of nowhere, makes it an appearance for uh, Smash 4 as a DLC character for around $4, I think. And, you know, uh, I wasn't expecting Lucas to come, to come back, but apparently uh, fans wanted him back. So, guess what? It happened. So, not really much to say on Lucas. He's, he's not one of my mains, but oh well. Um, whatever makes the fans happy. And another thing I wanted to mention is the Mii costumes. Um, these are uh, really cool. I think they're pretty fun, uh, especially with um, the Zelda ones. And also, the Mega Man X and Proto Man uh, costumes. Uh, look, those look really cool. So, look, definitely looking forward to those. And... I'm probably gonna get the uh, the whole bundle, so you know why not. And also, uh, Smash is gonna also come out with a patch, so that'll include the uh, character balancing and also the file sharing with the stages and um, a couple of other stuff. But um, I feel like this is really good because you know all that all that hard work is put into the stage creation and other things, but you can't share it um, until now. So. All that hard work is gonna um, work, um, pay off, and you're gonna be able to show them off to pretty much everyone online. So I think that's a really cool thing, and glad that they actually add that uh, via update. So um, that's not gonna cost you anything. So again, that's really cool. Another thing that's pretty awesome, I think, is that Sakurai and his team are taking requests, um, uh, characters uh, specifically, and um, you can uh, go to the website and. Uh, literally just type in the name and you know what game they're from and uh state why they should be in the game don't treat this as a voting ballot but rather a suggestion box so they're gonna go through it and they're gonna you know just pick out all the ones they like and you know go from there and sakurai is gonna uh determine who's gonna be in it who's gonna uh, who's not um honestly uh i actually put in ryu as a um as my submission because you know, he's a Street Fighter character, and he's an icon of um, fighting characters, you know, and within the gaming world. And you know, I think he deserves a spot in um, Super Smash Brothers. You know, I, um, you know, of course, he's already a fighting character, sure, as Sakurai stated in an interview. And you know, it's already predictable, you know, uh, of how he's gonna fight. But you know, he comes from a fight, um, Street Fighter game, which is pretty much different from a Smash game. In Smash, is a all. And Smash is already a, you know, just an absolutely different fighting game from, you know, your traditional fighters out there. So, um, really want to see how Ryu plays in that kind of environment, you know, and having him fight against Mario and all the other uh, Nintendo characters. I like to see that. But um, you guys have uh, a choice as well. You know, go on the website and submit your own. You know, have fun with it. But uh, make it a little reasonable. Don't put in anime characters or, you know, such as, you know, Goku from Dragon Ball Z or what have you. Um, he's only going to take video game characters and characters that have a lineage within Nintendo. For example, the Street Fighter series was on uh, Super NES at, at, at one point, and I believe the NES as well. But um, uh, either way, it was in within the Nintendo uh, library. So keep that in mind and have fun. And then the Amiibo. Holy crap, we got a big announcement on the Super Smash Bros. Amiibos. Not only we are going to get um, the ones we saw from the Spring Amiibos, you know, with Lucina, Charizard, and all that great stuff, we're going we're to get the rest of the cast, uh, pretty much. And uh, Ganondorf's in there, Dr. Mars in there, Greninja. I, just 
there's uh, quite a couple couple of ones that I want to get really badly because you know Ganondorf, uh, Doctor Mario are some of my favorite characters, so really want to get it and um, hopefully uh, be able to get my hands on it. Uh, be aware that some of these amiibos are going to be exclusive for a certain retail stores, just like how Rosalina was exclusive to Target, Lucara was ex uh, was to uh, Toys R Us, uh, Meta Knight was to Best Buy, so on and so forth. One last thing I want to mention about me amiibos is the Wooly Yoshi amiibo. I think it was a really cool looking amiibo. It's very unique uh, comparing to all the other amiibos that we've seen so far. It's actually made out of that you know wool material, and it looks pretty damn cool and it's a nice little like plushy looking thing so uh, I might pick one up myself just because it just looks awesome you know and another cool thing is that uh, the amiibos for Mewtwo and Lucas are indeed coming as well sometime down the line another thing I want to talk about in this uh, Nintendo Direct was Mario Maker now even though I myself am not getting Mario Maker I just wanted to point it out uh, this game because well this game caters to people who like to create levels and uh, just like to create stuff in general and make an art out of it and i think this is really cool that they're coming out with a mario maker type of game you know where you can make your own mario level and you don't have to do it on your pc with an obscure software of some kind and you can do it on your wii u and you can uh, share it all over the world so uh really cool and for you guys that love to create stuff especially with mario levels this is the game for you. Next one is Splatoon. I uh, wanted to talk more about Splatoon. And pretty much, uh, Splatoon is a, I think it's a refreshing look on the shooter genre. Um, I've played Call of Duty, i played Battlefield, and then what have you. And got got burned out sometime down the line uh, uh, during Battlefield 4 and Advanced Warfare. It just got to the point where I'm just done with shooters, you know, especially with Call of Duty and Battlefield. But uh, Splatoon looks really promising, it looks really cool, it's a different take on it and I love the art style for it, you know, with all the inking uh, and the splat splatting and all that stuff and and also briefly want to mention the amiibos for the Splatoon characters. Uh, they look pretty cool and uh, they come in a three pack so I'm very tempted to get one, um, you know, if I ever get the chance in the future. Uh, this game is all about map control rather than just killing your opponents and I think map control is really important in shooters anyway because you know once you are able to do that you are pretty much in control in any match so um, Splatoon really emphasizes on that and I think this is going to be really cool um, with uh, not only with the younger audience but I think with the older audiences such as myself with the gameplay mechanics and how you uh, move around the mobility and your, your weapons and all your uh, your costumes and all that everything you know the design it looks really cool in my opinion and um, again this is uh, really refreshing as a shooter so really looking forward to it and hopefully I get uh, get my hands on it in May I also wanted to briefly cover on the virtual console uh, with N64 and Nintendo DS games um, coming to uh, play uh, but the DS part was really interesting because it was uh, speculated that it was it was gonna happen because the gamepad can act as a second screen, you know that kind of thing. But um, it hasn't been confirmed on Nintendo until now. So this is really cool. I think uh, hopefully we get the more uh, interesting titles from Nintendo with the DS game. So um, and also with uh, Nintendo 64, really hope that they come out, um, come out with the games that haven't come out on the Virtual Console. Period, uh, such as Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, perhaps. One cool thing they've uh, announced about the uh, Virtual Console is that you can configure the buttons with the N64 games and your DS games. So pretty cool. Uh, that was a, I thought that, that was a smart idea. So you can configure it however you like it. Another game I wanted to mention is the Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire, uh, Fire Emblem uh, crossover game that uh, oh, that was announced back uh, earlier this year, some um, somewhere around that time. And uh, now we got more announcements on that. And again, I'm uh, looking forward to it because it's um, a nice modern RPG, you know, with everyday life and um, has that Fire Emblem twist to it. And, you know, really can't wait because it's on the Wii U. I, you know, always welcome uh, console RPGs, especially JRPGs. And also, it's a crossover game. I really love crossover games, you know, with Marvel vs. Capcom, um, so on and so forth. So. Um, this is a, this is a treat for me. Although I am uh, I haven't played 
much on both of the fr uh, franchises, especially with uh, Megami Tensei. So this is a nice little uh, look into that universe uh, once I get the game. Next game is Fiddle Frame 5. Reason I bring this up because, well, usually I don't buy horror games because, well, I don't know, it's just something about it. Um, whether I'm too scared or something else, it's just I pay attention to everything else like, you know, JRPGs, fighting games, uh, action and action adventure, what have you. And horror games was just never on my mind, so I never played Resident Evil, Fatal Frame, Silent Hill, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I thought this is now the time to really see how the gamepad is useful, so I, um, I think Fatal Frame 5 is a good game to show off the gamepad besides Zombie U. So I really wanted to get this one to um, use the gamepad and uh, as part of the gameplay and you know how, how, see how that goes and it seems really fun uh, I've seen uh, a couple of streamers including Maximilian uh, play it uh, with the import version and uh, looks really fun um, definitely has that uh, nice element of horror and atmosphere this is considered a miracle because uh, Fatal Frame 5 looks like it was only going to be a Japan only game, but they've managed to be able to bring the game over to the States. So with that, I'm going to dip my foot into the ocean that is horror genre games. So uh, Fatal Frame 5 will be my first uh, horror game that I would ever own. The only other horror game I've played, but you know, technically don't own and doesn't really count, it's a demo called PT. Uh, really had fun with that and definitely was uh, pretty scary and you know provided that that right atmosphere you know really loved it it's the demo for silent hills for those who don't know again have fun with that and i'm definitely considering silent hills so um might happen on on the uh, second channel one last actual game wanting to mention is puzzle and dragon z and puzzle and dragons super mario brothers edition the uh, reason why is that i'm actually kind of considering getting it because i uh, actually do like puzzle games I've uh, been playing te uh, Tetris, Bust to Move, and so on and so forth, uh, you know, even Puzzle Fighter at one point. And as you've seen on this channel, Pokemon Puzzle League. And also, it's a JRPG combined into one genre, so I think that's a pretty cool combination. And it both has um, the regular game and also the Super Mario Bros. edition, so um, really do want to check it out and consider buying it. Now one last one is the DLC for Mario Kart 8. Um, really glad that they uh, chose uh, Animal Crossing as the theme and they really did a great job with the the course and the music for it and you know the course looks absolutely fantastic you know I love the changing seasons and just the overall look on it it's just it conveys uh, Animal Crossing and, and as you may know I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing so and to me it shows that what an Animal Crossing game on the Wii U can look like if we get an Animal Crossing console game on the Wii U that looks like this, I will be very much happy as a fan of Animal Crossing. And of course we get uh, two cups and also uh, three characters and a couple of more cars. They even mentioned more Amiibos being compatible with Mario Kart 8 so you get more of the the uh, the me racing suits so uh, especially with Sonic and uh, Pac-Man and Bowser. And what's also really interesting is the 200cc uh, update. You know if uh, if you if you think 150 cc is not enough, there you go. You have 200 cc. It's gonna be really crazy. It's gonna be uh, pretty much like F Zero for beginners. Um, F Zero is a really hard racing game because it goes really fast, and 200 uh, cc is uh, pretty much you know providing you a sample of that. So um, in a Mario Kart game, you know it's um, this is gonna be uh, pretty big because it's just the first. And it's always been worth, uh, 150 CC, and um, you know I always thought that that was a hard challenge. But now there's 200 CC. Um, I've done the 150 CC uh, series uh, on this channel, so I feel like I would have to at least try the 200 CC challenge. So look forward to that on this channel, and um, uh, get ready for some salt and rage if Mario Kart 8 hasn't offered that enough already. Now that's pretty much it for this Nintendo Direct. I think overall they revealed a lot of great stuff including the, um, the DLC characters for uh, Super Smash Bros, the DLC for Mario Kart 8, and you know, um, the Amiibos, Splatoon, uh, and all the other games that were mentioned uh, in my highlights including Fatal Frame 5. So 
Um, really great stuff. Hopefully, um, be able to get my hands on it. And just looking forward to their releases this year. Hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, hit that thumbs up. And if you have any comments, thoughts, opinions about this Nintendo Direct, leave them down in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to share and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I highly appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching. Can't wait for those games to come out. I'll see you next time. Sean out.